What if I told you there was a combination of settings in Modern Warfare 2 that you can change right now that will literally make your aim assist feel like you're not even playing the game? Now look. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of fun for a lot of people, but for some people that is just what they need to get ahead in Modern Warfare 2. If you're already an extremely competent player, then this might actually feel a bit weird. I myself don't plan on using this full time, however, I did think I'd make a video on it because the aim assist when you're using this setting feels so incredibly strong. The gameplay that you're watching right now in the background is me using this setting and I'm literally not even adjusting my aim, I'm using very minimal recoil control and it honestly feels like the aim assist is just doing all of the work for me. Now also, you might have noticed that this game is against bots. I didn't reverse boost to get this free for all new guy. I did it against recruit level bots so that I could consistently get results so I could show you in this video. Don't worry, you haven't stumbled across some nuke tubers channel. This is just the nuke against some bots rather than, you know, disabled children. But anyway, let's get on to how you get this incredibly strong aim assist in Modern Warfare 2 so you can change this setting right now and experience these kinds of results. Now look, the main thing that you're going to want to do for this to work is change the setting for your aim assist type. Most people that I've been talking to are using the standard modern warfare aim assist. It just comes under standard. However, if you go into the aim assist settings and change it to black ops, this is the setting that you're going to want to use for these incredible results. For whatever reason in modern warfare 2, the black ops setting is just so incredibly strong. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to do is similar to my last aiming video, you're going to want to change the center dot to make it bigger or as big as possible. This is because you're really going to have to pay attention attention to your centering when you're aiming down sights. The way that this aim assist is working seems to be that if you are aiming at someone before you aim down sights, so if you're centered on that person, what that means is you're going to just glue to them. It's going to be sticky as shit. Now, the reason that I've said that some veteran players will not like this is because sometimes it seems like the aim assist has a mind of its own. If there's more than one enemy in your crosshair, then chances are it might flip to the wrong one by accident. But like I said, if you're new to the franchise or you're new to first person shooters, then this is going to be the setting for you. I myself have pretty much been playing mouse and keyboard for every single game. However, since I got back on Modern Warfare 2, I decided that I'd go back to controller just because A, because Call of Duty was made for controllers for the ground up and it just feels like the right thing to be using for this game. And also because of things like this, where the aim assist is literally so strong, it does feel like you're playing against a load of people using aimbots sometimes. Not shitting on controller players or mouse and keyboard players. I'm definitely not ready for that argument in my comments. I'm just saying that by changing this setting, you could be having a much better experience when it comes to the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2. Now, a few other things that you're going to want to take heed of before you go ahead and use this in a public match is a few things that you need to bear in mind with aiming in general. No matter what aim assist you're using, even if you're using a mouse and keyboard, this is going to apply. What you need to be doing is just making sure you are not sprinting when you are coming around corners. The sprint to fire time in this game is absolutely insane. Couple that with the slow ADS time and also the ADS penalty you get for jumping around corners means that you really want to be getting your gun ready and centered as you come around the corner. That doesn't mean that you have to ADS as you're coming around the corner. Just make sure that that little dot I told you about, the centering dot in the middle of your screen, is where you think the enemy is going to be. Then when you pop around the corner, all you're going to need to do is hold the left trigger and the right trigger simultaneously and the aim assist will do the rest of the work for you. It really is that simple. Now look, before you all go mad at me in the comments, I do just want to read reiterate that I personally will not be using this method, not because I think it's cheating, not because I think it's too overpowered, but really it's because I've been playing Call of Duty for so long and having the aim assist that much stronger just feels a little bit off to me. But with that being said, I'm not going to judge you if you do want to use this. I mean, hell, it's in the game, so you might as well fucking use it until they eventually patch it or some shit. But anyway, that's it for this little video. I really hope that this has helped some of you guys, and I really hope that it helps your enjoyment with Modern Warfare 2. For those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. If you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be and why? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Avril Joel. Peace.